fucking cute girl right there. Should I sing this up? Mid video, fuck. Is she walking away? Hold on, let's see. In the middle of a vlog, let's see if I can say what's up. Oh, yeah. This is dumb to that. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. One second. Sorry, I was actually filming something, but really quickly. Just walking out the barber. Wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Very easy, but very important at the same time. The idea that you should be optimizing your look. I, I always get a medium high skin fade. I'm lean as fuck right now. So if I had to put my brain into any person's body, my main priority in terms of physical looks would be to get lean and work on your grooming, work on, work on your fashion. I mean, this isn't anything crazy, but I just ordered some new tanks, just casual wear, casual wear for when I'm just walking around. Cause I used to just walk around wearing beaters, like wife beaters with holes in them and shit. Anytime I see a dude, a client, a guy, like, look, you, have, you need to understand, we all instinctually judge people based off of their look, right? Like there's people here, there's people walking by. Anytime I look at somebody, automatically I'm gonna categorize them. There's a lot of dudes that follow me that say it's all about looks. I think that's bullshit. Cause I know a lot of dudes that look really good that are still whack. They got a bad mindset. They're not successful. They, they don't have good communication. They don't understand seduction. They don't understand business branding, consistency, discipline. Like there's so much other shit beyond looks, right? So it's not all about looks, but looks to some extent is a prerequisite for a lot of other things. Cause there's no way in hell you're gonna go up to a, a girl who's a 10 if you physically just look like a five or a six because it just says so much about you off rip. And that's a big problem is that a lot of dudes just, they try to do one thing I study one thing. It's like, no, dude, you got to be that guy on all levels, man. You work on your look now. You hit the gym now. You work on your communication now. You start putting out content now. You start working harder now. You start waking up earlier now. It's a fucking cute girl right there. Should I sing this up? Mid video? Fuck. Is she walking away? Hold on, let's see. In the middle of a vlog, let's see if I can say what's up. Oh, yeah. This is. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. One second. Sorry, I was actually filming something, but really quickly. I just want to say I thought you looked really cute. That's all. Uh, thank you. No problem. Have a good day, all right? Got to do it. I'm not going to run a whole fucking interaction right now. Dude, there's like, there's cute girls around. You got to look good, too. And you got to do what I just did, too. You got to be able to do that. I mean, that was fucking nothing. Some of you guys, that would be an ordeal. That would be like the biggest win of your life if you just went up to a girl and said she was cute. Dude, you gotta practice that every day. That girl isn't even that cute. You gotta be able to just do that. You gotta be able to just put out the content without hesitation. You gotta be able to just get the fuck out of bed earlier without hesitation. So if there's one takeaway, is that people are going to judge you off of the, the look, the communication, the way you carry yourself, the way you feel about yourself. But those things are only going to go up if you're consistent with it. Right? The only reason I feel confident is because I know. I know what the fuck I've done. I know the, the work I've put in. Anything else is bullshit, dude. Like, I remember when I used to study content, they would be like, you're the prize. You're the prize. Just just say this thing and you can attract women. Just get into a flow state and you'll attract women. It's like, well, look, if you're going out and you actually put yourself into a high frequency, you will radiate a better vibe, which, you know, for the short term, for that session, you will have a better vibe. So you are more likely to get into more interactions. But like, that alone isn't gonna fucking make you genuinely confident. That's like situational confidence. I'm talking about creating an identity where like no matter what the fuck's going on, any time of the day, any situation, I feel like the dude, I feel like that guy. That only comes with long-term consistency and hard work. In the gym, in your business, 
putting in long hours without seeing results sometimes, right? Like a lot of you dudes will, the only reason you're not good is because you give up. The only reason you're giving up is because you got short term mentality with the whole thing. Like some of you guys probably even watched that approach earlier and you're like, oh, the set didn't hook. Kyle got rejected. Oh, his game's not even tight. Or whatever. I, I don't even know what you might think. You probably thought something like that. <laughs> if I saw a dude do that, I would be like, fuck yeah, dude. Yo, that's so dope. You're filming and you still went out of your way to say something to a girl. Like that's the mentality you guys need to actually get success. I I'm leaving the barber. I'm walking back in the apartment. I was like, you know what? I had a quick thought about the idea of like just grooming and looking good. So let me just pull out the camera and film the content. Now, let me go make it perfect, plot this thing out. Like when, you, when it comes to approaching, when it comes to confidence, social skills, business, diet, fitness, you guys are so over analytical and it's fucking up the mindset and it's making you not take action. If there's anything you should be focused on is the action because when you're in rhythm, you just, you can do this shit consistently and none of it's a big deal. Like that, that interaction was not a big deal. This video is not a big deal. Any one thing is not a big deal. It's just part of the fucking day. It's just part of my daily habits. And as long as I'm taking the actions, the self-talk is like, fuck yeah, dude. I did it again today. I did it again today over and over and over again. That's what's going to make you confident as fuck. It's not about the look. I could take a dude who genetically looks better than me. He even worked on his look a lot, but that guy still has a lot of flaws. And once you start to talk to women long-term, you start dating them, you start going on longer interactions or you, you network with high individual dudes, you'll start to realize like what level these guys are really at. Cause my, my levels are going up. My status is going up. I'm starting to interact with higher level dudes and I'm approaching every day talking to the, the hottest girls in Miami. I'm walking around looking for the hottest girls in Miami. What I notice is like, Dude, I'm not impressed by anybody, guy or girl at this point, because of the routine, because of the habits, because of the action. All right, so yes, work on your look daily. Work on your look, work on your communication, work on your discipline, work on all of it every day. That's how you're gonna become a beast, all right? Or if you wanna fast track that, links in the description for the coaching programs, let's fucking go.